Hello and welcome to a new video for GMAS. This is our second video. We're introducing a new feature called automatic follow-up until a reply is received. You know if you do email marketing you send out emails and you hope uh, as many people as possible open them and then hopefully people will click and click through to whatever offer you're sending them and this is a new feature that we've just added that sends automatic replies to people when they haven't replied or they haven't clicked through, they haven't opened your email. So it's uh, pretty nice. It's going to save you a lot of time and um, we're going to get to that. So before you can use GMAS, you have to have a Gmail account. So we'll assume you have one of those. You also be, need to be using the Chrome browser because GMAS works with that. And of course you need GMAS to have installed. So if you don't have that, go to our website. That's at gmas.co. Let's move along right to our Gmail account. Now, normally with Gmail, if you're going to compose a message, you click here, but once you've downloaded GMAS, you're going to have these other buttons up here that are a little bit um, maybe unfamiliar if you haven't used it, but we're going to use it right now. So we're going to show you this button right here integrates with Google Sheets. And that's what we're going to do for the purpose of this video. Google Sheets is free. If you have a Google or a Gmail account, then you have access to Google Sheets, and this is what it looks like. So I created this little demonstration sheet before and I call it automatic follow-up demo for widgets. We're going to sell some widgets. So this particular sheet has three columns, um, yeah, three columns, first name, last name, email, and I have a total of six people. So let's go back and go ahead and click that button so we can start a new message. And it's asking us which Google Sheet we want to integrate with and there's only one. So I'm going to click on that one and we're going to connect to that spreadsheet. So GMAS has gone out there and found the spreadsheet, connected to it, created a new message. There are the people, the recipients. Let's get a, a subject line. We're going to call it Amazing Sale. And call it whatever you'd like. Now here is where you'd normally put your message. I've created a test message for this, but one of the other nice options about GMAS is you can click on this little button and it says load content. You can load a content from a previous campaign that you've done and it'll plug it right in there into the space. But as I said, I created a new one for this one because I want to show you a couple other things. So I'm going to copy it. And then we're just going to go back here and paste it because I want to show you how GMS also can personalize a message. We don't want to just say, hey, you, we want to say the person's name. So we're going to say hello. And then I'm going to go back into my GMS options and I'm going to tell it to put in. You'll remember that that uh, Google Sheets had three columns. Well, GMS knows that. So it's got the three columns right here. We're going to put in the first name and I'm going to put a comma. So now we have a proper greeting and I had a little typo here so let me fix that. We're offering class A widgets for only $500 per case. Click here. I'm going to highlight that and with Gmail in order to make a hyperlink we're going to click on that and what I'll do is I'm just going to put in the address for our website. That could be anything you wanted to link to but we want to have a call to action. So there we put in a link and you might want to put that to an order form or something. But it says click here to complete a reservation form so we can arrange prompt delivery. And we've signed it. Also another thing you can do if you'd like to is you can put in an um, unsubscribe link. That's another option. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. Oh there, it's put it in an unsubscribe link. Some people like that. Now we're ready to do what we came here to do, which is to set up the automatic file follow-up. Here are our options again, and we're going to click on automatic follow-up. That opens this. Now we've got a couple different options here. Um, we can say an automatic follow-up after two days, after three days, as many days as you think is appropriate, depending on your particular situation. First, we need to energize that little section by clicking there. So we're going to say after two days, if no reply, or you can say after no open. So let's say if they haven't opened your email after two days, we're going to send them a follow-up. And we click here. We're going to say send this text above the original. You want the original there so they know what you're talking about. And in this case, we're going to say just making sure you saw this because it's the best price on widgets since 2008. Now, if you're good with that, that's all you want to do, that's fine. However, sometimes they need one more reminder, sometimes two. And we're going to 
click to energize this box and we're going to have to say after three days if there's no reply we're going to send this message and I've reached out a couple of times now but I haven't heard back the sale ends Wednesday so please get back to me if you want to take advantage of this great deal so the first one's going to go out after two days this is going to go out after three days we're coming, let's say we're coming to the end of the sale you want to remind them if you want to you can actually send a third stage and you would activate it here and then put in your message. I'm only going to do this uh, these first two. I'm going to do after two days and after three days because I want to show you how it works. And we've got that all set. So let's take a look at our email and make sure it's ready to go. We've got hello and we've got it personalized. We have our subject line. Our recipients are in there. Our message looks pretty good. And we've signed it. We've got the unsubscribe link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this message and I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back in a couple of days. We're going to see, first of all, how it went out, where it's going to be in the sent box at that point, and we'll see that the message was sent. Then we're going to take a look at uh, one of the recipient's email account and see how they received it. So let's go ahead and send this message. It says, please wait for GMAS, and GMAS has, prom has processed your email and will begin sending your emails in one minute. So it's on the way. And as I said, I'm going to pause this for now. Then we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at what happened on our end and what happened on the recipient's end. So we'll see you in a little while. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome back. Um, we sent our campaign and it's now a few days later. We're going to check and follow up, see how we did. You remember when we first sent it out, that was on the 22nd. Right after we sent it, we got this message back from GMAS telling us that the name of the subject, we have a, an ID number on it to, for the schedule, um, how many recipients there were, which we remember there were six on our list, and it went out to all six. And then a couple of days later, we got another email from GMAS telling us that four people got sent uh, the first reminder. And th that means that two people opened the email, four people didn't. So we sent them out a reminder. And then the day after that, there were still two people that hadn't uh, opened or replied or clicked, so we sent them the third reminder. So that's what it looks like from our end. We're always notified. We're also given uh, reports over here, and, and those reports we're going to do a separate video for to show you how all the different labels work, the different boxes that are created when Gmail gets set up. That's going to be a separate video because it gets a little bit involved. So let's see what it looked like from the standpoint of the recipient. You remember that one of the people was Bob Smith. So Bob Smith's in book, inbox is here and Bob received the first email which is here. Dear Bob, take advantage of the lowest prices, etc. And then after he didn't open it, he maybe didn't ignore us on purpose. He just didn't see it. So we sent him a little follow-up. A couple, a couple of days later, a follow-up. And it said, just making sure you saw this because it's the best price on widgets. At that point, Bob opened it. And, you know, he may have clicked. He may have responded. Um, he may have uh, unsubscribed. But all those different things, we're going to get a report and it's going to tell us what happened with Bob. We're going to be able to track these things very carefully. So... Looks like that was a pretty good campaign. Uh, you will find using GMAS, you'll probably get much higher open rates and click-through rates than you're used to if you're a regular email marketer, and um, which we're very pleased about. We get a lot of feedback. So if you want to follow up and uh, see what we're doing, we have a Facebook page. I'll put a link to that and all the other resources down at the bottom of this video. So we have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter page. We're always putting the latest information out there on Facebook and Twitter. You can also go to our website, which is gmas.co. There's a lot of helpful stuff on there about our features and how they work. And if you go down to the bottom of the website, you can click on our blog link, and that's where there's even more information about what's happening with GMAS. So we're real happy that you watched the video. We hope you sign up for GMAS right away and start using it. Um, our job is to help you improve your business and make more sales. And so far, we're real happy with uh, the feedback we're getting. So thanks for watching the video. Please uh, look for new ones coming up in the future. And we'll be back with you soon. Take care.